in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top three apartment choices in Gilbert, Arizona, because if you're like any of my other clients who have moved here and chose to live in one of these mega apartment complexes, then you will notice that there are a whole slew of different complexes to choose from and the decision making can be a little bit overwhelming when you have too many choices. So what are we gonna talk about in this video? Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna give you the scoop on pricing with each one of these top three apartment complexes. Number two, we're gonna talk about the amenities that are offered at these complexes. Number three, we're gonna look at the Google reviews and see what the negative reviews are because really people like to go on and complain when they review, right? So I feel like that is a good source of trying to do your due diligence, so to speak. And then fourth, we are going to look at location of these units because I feel like location, 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 you're really gonna enjoy life better if you guys choose the correct location. So hopefully after this video, guys, you'll be able to go do your own research on these apartment complexes with sort of the tools that I'm giving you here. And you'll be able to make the best decision with what works for your budget, your time frame, where you need to be, et cetera. Now, first and foremost, before we go through all of these different complexes, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below where exactly you're watching from. I have a lot of people moving here from different parts of the country. And I'm just curious, enter your city and state in the comment below. Let me know where you guys are watching from or where you're moving from. Okay, so when we're talking about the best locations to live in Gilbert, I wanna bring up three different areas to you guys, okay? So first and foremost, um, Cooley Station. I have plenty of videos on Cooley Station that you guys can watch, but Cooley Station is uh, being built out and there are a ton of apartments here. So if you see all of these in the red right here, these are gonna be what I labeled kinda luxury apartments right here on the left-hand side of this My Map. And then if you um, look down here, we even have a 55 plus, which is down um, album at Cooley Station. There's a 55 plus, um, apartment building there, and there are uh, luxury apartment built, what I consider luxury anyways, luxury apartment buildings as well that I will get to in a little bit, but I just wanna tell you guys about this location here. It's really cool. So this is a whole new sort of downtown section, and I mean, basically what they've done instead of creating like a strip mall concept is they've put some streets in through these different shops. They've made little walking paths, and they've also created a green space and a park for kids as well. So there's some really nice uh, vendors and different businesses here. So this place isn't 100% built out yet, but there are a lot of apartment complexes here. So that's the only kind of negative thing about this. If you see all these different colored spots right here, these are all uh, what you'd call mega apartment complexes. And really these apartment complexes have been started to be built in the last five years and they are just everywhere now. You can't go three miles without seeing one. So that's the first location I wanted to tell you guys about. Basically that's gonna be um, what's called Cooley Station, which is right here. And then over here we have Santan Village, right? Santan Village area. And then um, I'm gonna include this area up here as well as Santan Village. We'll just include this whole sort of area right here. So this is right off the 202, and you can see here as far as the expressway access, if you're living here, you will easily be able to get anywhere in the valley from the 202. You can take the 202 back to the uh, back to the west. This corridor just opened right here. You can get to the West Valley really easily, and it's pretty open here when you're going to work. I mean, there's not a whole lot of traffic. And then if you want to kind of go around here, I have a client who's going to be working up here at Boeing. Super easy drive right here, maybe 20, 25 minutes. Traffic here is pretty much non-existent on the way to work and the way home. Rarely will you run into traffic. The only time you're gonna see traffic is people trying to get on this SR24. So that might be a little bit backed up. So when you're coming south here on the 202, you just wanna stay in the left two lanes. But definitely uh, easy access around the valley, in my opinion. And that's what I love about living here is that there's so many different ways to get to um, you know, Scottsdale, there's a few different ways to get to the West Valley, a few different ways to get to Phoenix, Tempe. So no matter where you're going, there should be, uh, you know, some clear, clear routes there. So this area right here, um, you're going to be by the Santan Village Mall. You're going to be near um, a little park right here called Discovery Park. We have Costco over here as well. 
for all your Costco shoppers. If you're not a Costco shopper, more of a Sam's Club person, well, we do have that right there as well. So a lot of these apartment complexes coming up over here and a lot of entertainment as well. We have Top Golf. We actually have a gun shooting range here, which, believe it or not, has a bar. And then um, I know we have a company party coming up, which is going to be on the rooftop of that gun club. So pretty interesting. You also have Trader Joe's over here. You have a Sprouts for shopping. So if you're trying to shop more organic, more healthy, you have access to those as well. And they're within walking distance, I would say, of these apartment complexes. But, you know, this one over here, um, this one down here might be a little bit further. You're going to need to to drive up here. But obviously, this person can just walk their way over to Costco. And then the people living over here and up here, in order to get to the grocery store, they're obviously going to have to drive maybe a half a mile as well. So keep in mind, each one of these streets is going to be a square mile. This is one mile long right here. Okay, so really everything works on a grid system with this weird streak coming through and messing up everybody's uh, um, origin basically. But Santan Village Mall is right here. A lot of shopping, beautiful outdoor mall. We love going there and we're happy that there's such a beautiful outdoor mall near us. Um, and then another area I kind of want to tell you guys about, and you know, I'm not going to touch too much on this area, but that's downtown Gilbert over here. So downtown Gilbert, basically, uh, you know, they do have a few other apartment complexes. They're not going to be as nice as this one right here. So downtown Gilbert basically starts here and goes through here. There are some offshoot places to, you know, they're trying to kind of build this up over here. But really, this is going to be the downtown Gilbert area going down to about the train tracks. So right here to right there. This is called the district right here. Not super familiar with it, but seems to be nice, except for the fact that there are some railroad tracks right here. But you do have access to downtown Gilbert. So if you're single looking to mingle, maybe that would be a place that you'd want to go because you have easy access, like I said, to downtown Gilbert. So without further ado, guys, you know the different locations that I'm a fan of. Really, um, you know, we have Cooley Station once again. We have Santan Village right here, a little bit north of Santan Village as well. And then we have uh, downtown Gilbert over there. And one offshoot one I'm going to get into is Agritopia, which is the Tyler Agritopia. So let's start with the number three um, location. So, so we're doing top three here. Number three, we are looking at none other than elevation at the village. Okay. So for a one bed, one bath here, you're definitely going to have to break out the pocketbook. You're looking at $2,100 to start. Okay. Now, I reviewed these thoroughly. The only thing I could find in the negative review is that they allegedly treated someone of color poorly. Other than that, there's not really a whole lot of bad reviews. Not sure what the situation was there. Not sure if that person um, was mistaken or something like that. I, I don't know the case. Not going to comment on it. But that was really kind of the only bad review I can I could see. Other than that, great reviews otherwise. Um, amenities here, resort style pool and spa, luxury poolside cabanas, outdoor seating areas, gas grills. They have a pet spa, which is pretty nice, a bike storage, a two level fitness center with state of the art equipment, a social lounge with social lounge, excuse me, with arcade games, uh, Amazon package lockers. So if you get something shipped to you, they can just package them up, put them in a locker, dog park as well here, uh, Wi-Fi in all the common areas. And um, my thoughts on it, if I was to live here, I would choose, you know, I'd live here if I chose the Santan area. Seems to have the best reviews. It is so close to everything. If we zoom in on this, just so you guys can see what we're working with here, uh, you could really see all of the different mall details. I can't go to satellite view right now, unfortunately, but you can see everything here. I mean, come on, you got Macy's over here. You have, uh, uh, there's a... Um, what is that round robin or whatever the the robin hamburger place why can't i think of the name of that right now i always like forget the like weirdest details when i'm on camera it's so strange um we also have a place that just opened i believe it's over here yeah it's called bird call so that looks really interesting it's like a drive through chicken place they serve cocktails there as well we have cooper's hawk which is down here torchy's tacos north italia fire firebirds and then we have flower child shake shack i mean a ton of restaurants here. Very nice stuff. Bourbon and Bones. There's a sushi uh, restaurant here as well. Where the heck is that sushi restaurant? Kona Grill has sushi, of course. And then um, 
where the heck did they not put their, they're like right here. It's called, I think it's called Blue Wasabi. I don't know why they don't have their Google My Business thing. Someone needs to uh, solicit those people and tell them to get their stuff together. Thirsty Lion Gastro Pub, Salt, Tacos, and Tequila. I mean, you have everything here. You have the Apple Store, which is, I think, down here. You have, um, you know, you have a Lululemon here. You have a bunch of kids' stores. All the kids' stores, FYI, it's kind of nice how they set this mall up. They're all going to be like right here as far as like, kids kids stuff so um really set it up nice we have grace records which is a cool record store and then down over here we have harkins theater so if you guys want to go watch a movie take a date you know you can definitely do some stuff here um you know date night type of stuff at the santan village mall you can just have everything right here so i think that's really nice really unique and you are right there so that would be my number three pick all right Price, you know, it would be the only thing, $2,100 to start, a little bit high on that one. But you do also have location just at the 202. You're super close. Can't complain about that. All right, so moving on to my um, number, number two choice is going to be Alta at Cooley Station or Alta Cooley Station, however you want to talk about it or however you want to pronounce it, right? So that is going to be right here, once again, by that whole Cooley Station. It's called Verde. That's V. E R D E at Cooley Station. I believe Verde means green in Spanish. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, you have a little park right there for kids, right next to the street here. So be sure to watch your two-year-olds so they don't run out there. Um, the brass tap is going to be over here. So a lot of stuff here. Like I said before, crust, blue heron, hash kitchen. Already kind of went over that with you guys. But Alta Cooley Station. The reason I think it's such a um, cool place is you know they have great reviews. So let's go through it. Um, as far as the reviews go, you know, I didn't bring the reviews up here, but let me bring it up in Google Maps real quick for you guys. You can kind of see what's, what they're working with here. Five stars. I mean, I don't know if they have any negative reviews right now. They are somewhat new. They have no negative reviews. That's why I don't have negative reviews in there. But um, you can see here, you know, uh, overall, it's pretty quiet. Units are soundproof. Holy cow. I did not know that about this location. So um, appliances leave something to be desired. So dishwasher didn't wash dishes very well. I mean, this is the worst review, but the fact that this unit is soundproof, I did not know they had apartments like that because that is like the number one complaint that you hear from everybody is like the walls are paper thin. I can hear everybody. I can hear kids upstairs. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. So this person saying like she loves the rooftop lounge, the speakeasy as well. So let's go and let's take a look at everything that this offers real quick with you guys. And um, I'm actually going to go on their website. I don't have a whole lot of B-roll because the place is so new. Um, but we're going to go to the website and show you what that's all about. But let me go back to my map here. Let's go through the uh, different amenities here. Pool with tanning deck and jacuzzi. Fitness studio with yoga. A meditation area. Outdoor game courtyard with oversized chess. Bag toss, foosball, ping pong table. Multiple outdoor entertaining areas. Sky lounge with expansive views of the McDowell Mountains. I'm excited to see that. Wi-Fi lounge, coffee bar, game room, uh, the browser conference area with micro offices and private conference area, club room, and TV wall. Library slash speakeasy? <laughs> that, that looks cool. I didn't know they had a speakeasy there until I read it again. But let's go to their website and see what, uh, see what it's all about. From what I understand, we can take sort of a 3D virtual tour. Eight weeks free right now on select floor plans because it's so new here. So let's check this out. Let's start with the... Um, Let's take a look at the clubhouse. We'll do the clubhouse and uh, maybe the speakeasy or something like that. So you can see here, here is the clubhouse. Uh, I believe this is the entrance as well. So when you walk into the front door, this is what it's going to look like right here. And then these are going to be the people sort of working at the front desk area. And it's actually not letting me click over there. But, you know, you have this private little space over here, which is kind of nice to hang out, do some work in. Uh, looks like you have theater seating here if you want to watch a movie. The TV hadn't been put up yet. I imagine they have a TV now. You have some different booths pool table as well so that's pretty cool nice clubhouse you can see looking out what the pool looks like straight ahead here but let me let me get out of here and go back into another section here let's check out um hmm, the mail room who wants to look at the mail room i guess some people think the mail room is important you know you got to have a good mail room solid mail room is always important right so fitness center here so here it is Looks like your, you know, Peloton bikes. These are great. I mean, those aren't cheap. 
and you can see they're kind of still building out this area right here. So this is all built up, in case you're wondering. What is that place over there? I'm trying to get my bearings. AutoZone, yeah, so that's all built up. Okay, so this is an old, old picture. So maybe they've added some more uh, fitness sections to this place, but I don't know. So it's not huge, okay? But this is your fitness area. If you did want to take a walk or something like that, you know, definitely walkable as far as grocery shopping goes, taking a walk outside just to, uh, you know, walk your dog, things like that. That's going to be important. And one thing to keep in mind is all of these are really, um, you know, they are pet friendly. So you're, you're definitely not going to have any issues there. So let's back it up one more time. I, I wanted to see that Sky Lounge. I'm kind of sad that they, they don't offer like a, a virtual tour of the, the Sky Lounge or the Speakeasy. But if we go into amenities, maybe we can take a look at some pictures here. Um, speakeasy, here we go. Let's see. And then the rooftop lounge, I'm going to open in another tab. Oh, man, they don't open up. You can't open these. I will never know. Oh, that is so sad. But you know what? Let's look at the rooms real quick. Let's take a look at what the rooms look like. Here we go. So these are called Matterport tours, pretty much what people use when they're selling a house. You can have this little camera go around and stuff, so you've probably seen these before. But, you know, pretty solid-looking unit, no complaints. I mean, yeah, there, there's your, there's your one-bedroom apartment. Let me know what you guys think of this. I think it's pretty nice. Cool. You know, is your washer and dryer there? I mean, that's key, having that in your, in your uh, unit and not having to walk down and, you know, pay to do your laundry. So that's great. So that's Alta Cooley Station. That's number two. And the fact that the rooms are soundproof is absolutely amazing. So coming in at number one, and, and by the way, you do have shopping here. So I want to, I, I should touch on this. You have fries right here. And then... Um, you know, you have some different places that you can eat. So really, if you're a Fry's fan, Fry's is there. Otherwise, you're going to have to go down about two, three miles to Trader Joe's and Sprouts, which is going to be further west. But definitely not far. A quick Uber ride there, if you don't have a car, can definitely get you there pretty fast. Okay? So coming in at number one is going to be the Tyler at the Epicenter. Now, this is kind of a separate place, and I didn't really go through it because I wanted to save it for the Tyler because I think it's really unique for the Tyler. And the Tyler is the only apartment complex here in Agritopia. So I do have an Agritopia video. If you guys want to watch that, I'll link that up here. Um, but this is definitely a great location. And guys, by the way, if you want this map that I created here with my luxury apartment, kind of luxury apartments, luxuries with the worst views, and then, um, or worst reviews rather, and then 55 plus apartment, just comment below and give me the map and I will give the map to you guys. Okay. Simple as that. All right, so let's take a look at Agritopia and the Tyler. This location right here is truly awesome in my opinion. Now, before we get into the actual place, I wanna tell you guys about the location. Now, if you haven't watched the video on Agritopia, I encourage you to do that. However, let's go through everything that's offered here. So at the Tyler, you can see this is gonna be basically, from what I understand, oop, let's grab this right here. This is parking. This is the Tyler, and I believe it goes all the way down here. Google Maps just hasn't updated yet. And then it also goes over here. So that's the Tyler, okay? And then underneath, you have all these cool places. Matt's Big Breakfast, great place to go. They cook everything in really good oils, uh, so it's super healthy. Um, I mean, not super healthy, but healthier than your average breakfast place. Beer Barn, they only serve beer. Great place to go to. Spinato's Pizza, um, Chicago style pizza, really good. No complaints there. The Collective is a um, it's a workout place, and it's pretty cool because not only do they have good equipment, good classes, but they also do things together as a group. They'll have happy hours at different lo locations near Agritopia, different events, things like that. So it's really sort of like a collective group of not only people that work out, but people that build friendships. So let's say you just started at um, the Tyler, you just moved in, wanted to go meet some people. That would be a great place. It's uh, 50 bucks a week, which is pretty expensive, I know. So you're looking at about 200 bucks a month there. But realize these are kind of bougie style places here. Buck and Rider Seafood, um, great oysters. Drinks are eh, not my favorite, but they have an awesome Bloody Mary on Saturday and Sunday. And a great outdoor seating area. Inside feels like you're, um, you know, in a fancy 
restaurant in Scottsdale. It's really cool. Undertow Gilbert, I recommend you guys go to their website, check this place out, because it is a whole freaking experience. It's a whole bar experience where you're like on a boat um, while you're in, inside the place. It's, um, it's pretty cool. I haven't been there. I really want to go there. So that's looking cool. You have coffee over here. Air Guitar, which is a really nice convenience store. It has sushi there, ice cream, coffee, pizza. You can get buy one, get one free on Wednesdays. My kids love this place right here. And then over here to the west, actually, you have the original sort of Agritopia with all the great places, the coffee shop, Joe's Farm, Uprooted Kitchen, um, Fire and Brimstone, which is temporary, temporary, blah, temporarily closed. What? What is going on with that? Are they not doing well, I wonder? Garage East. There's a bar right here. You can get some beer over here. You can get wine here, okay? Farm store, Agritopia Farm, basically this whole building right here. You can just run in and get some, uh, you know, get, get some stuff from the organic farm, which is just to the north right here. So there is a farm here, but don't worry. No pesticides are being blown into your... Uh, you know, into your windows or anything like that because it is an organic farm. So, all right, getting into the Tyler now. Let's check it out and let's look at everything that this offers. So I have this up here. One bed, one bath, 1940. And re realize, guys, when you get into this, it's going to be a little bit higher. And, and some people have said in the reviews, like, oh, my gosh, like, my, you know, they said it was 1940, but it turned out to be like $2,200 because you have other bills. You have utilities, electric you're going to have to pay. I don't know if they make you pay gas. There probably isn't gas here. That would be kind of crazy. Um, but also, uh, you know, you're going to have to pay Internet. You're going to have to pay different things. Actually, Internet may come with it. Internet may come. Don't quote me on it. Not sure if Internet comes with these places, but it said on the last one it did. So I would just log into the Internet, you know, that they have in the lobby and, and not have Internet. I mean, come on. So uh, negatives here. As far as the Google reviews go, um, high price, petty management issues that I think can be avoided. So things like, oh, they didn't return my call or I went for a, to check it out and they were busy, things like that. So not really bad um, bad reviews, just people complaining about price and, and those other petty issues. So what are the amenities here? Short walk to Agritopia Farm and Restaurants, which I said, 14 local shops and eateries below, pool with cabanas, spa, fireplace. That is a really cool um, area, by the way, the pool, all the little like uh, built-ins that they have. They have these little sections with TVs. I mean, if you're there watching a sports game, like right now would be perfect, end of November, watch some football there with some friends. I don't know if the pool's heated. That's probably something that you want to find out. Maybe you could take a swim and then watch, um, you know, watch the uh, watch the game. I'm actually going to call and see about that. Um, spool, with, spool, pool with cabanas, spa, fireplace, a resident social events calendar. So that's really cool. So when you walk through here and you're taking like a tour, you'll see in the lobby that they have uh, these flyers posted on the windows, and there'll be different events, different get-togethers, happy hours, things like that. So that's super cool. They have what's called a maker's kitchen that you can rent out which is basically kind of a kitchen right off, right off the lobby. And um, you can like throw little events there, like VIP events. And it's, it's got a cool feel to it. So electric car charging stations, fitness center, cardio, and strength machines. The fitness center isn't huge, but I felt like it got the job done, and I thought it was really nice. Outdoor entertainment, Paseo with ping pong tables, greenhouse style co-working space. That was really nice when I saw it. Dog friendly community with a pet wash and dryers. Pet dryers? Come on. I mean, your, 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 your rent's built in to have your pet live there and get washes and dryings done. So that, that is awesome. A lounge with a conference room, bike storage, 24-hour access to packages, lockers. They have Amazon lockers here as well. Outdoor grilling, media lounges, rentable storage, concierge dry cleaning. So this place, super nice. When you walk in there, you feel like it's, um, you know, you're walking into the Great Gatsby Took a tour of two of the different um, models here. Didn't smell anything weird in the hallways. I thought it was really nice. The models were super nice. They had great views into the courtyard, actually, into the pool area. So that's nice if you wanted to sit out and just kind of, you know, people watch or whatever it is you do when you look out into a courtyard. You definitely have that option. Uh, definitely one of the more bougie places. I know rents here can be up to $5,000 per month. So kind of crazy, but... Tyler at the epicenter is going to be my number one pick, and that's where I would choose to live. Now, guys, once again, you can go through these on your own. What I've done here is, for instance, at the Aya, which is sort of near um, Cooley Station, you can go through, get my thoughts on it, read the negative reviews, read about all the amenities. But at the end of the day, the best way to get a feel is to have 
you know, take a tour, number one, and then number two, ask the residents about the community. And what I plan on starting on Facebook is a Gilbert Apartment Community Facebook group. So that will be linked down below. Make sure you guys join that group. And then you can easily ask, hey, how is it there right now? Because um, a few things are going to, you know, your quality of life is going to depend on the management, the type of people in there, the thinness of the walls, how much you can hear people. And, um, you know, I hate to say it, but the smells in there too. One of these kind of luxury apartments, um, everybody was complaining about the smells. I think it was, uh, elevation Santan. So the problem with that one was there was like trash and there's trash shoots. And when you get trash shoots, like shoots that you put the trash down, you know, like, um, garbage chutes is that people leave their trash outside of the trash chute for some reason. I don't know why people do that. They just think like, oh, somebody else will get it. And then you have garbage in your hallway and you have to sit there and smell it. So that was a complaint here. So something you may want to know, Hey, so join this Facebook group. I'm building it from scratch. So you guys might be the first ones in there, but check it out. I'm going to promote it, market it, advertise it, pay to advertise the thing and try to get people to join this group so that you guys can all talk about the best apartments in Gilbert and what other people's experiences were. Also, as far as, um, kind of a bonus here, what I want to talk to you guys about is there are two other locations that I kind of gave examples of. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been waiting to do that a while. So first is going to be the islands. There's a place here called Alcove at the Islands. So you do have a lot of these uh, master plan communities, Power Ranch, the islands, Val Vista Lakes, and then they're going to have apartment communities close to them. Actually, I don't know if Val Vista Lakes has one, but I know Power Ranch and the islands does. So Alcove at the islands, you can see... Um, you know, price is only going to be thirteen thirty-seven, so a lot less expensive. These are a little bit older, and you know, I had a buddy that uh, stayed there for like six months. Hey, Cliff, what's going on? And he absolutely hated it. He could not wait to get out there, out of there. Um, just a ton of problems. Anything you can think of, he just didn't enjoy living there. So that is what you're probably going to experience with some of these places. And you can read, they have all the amenities here like any other place, and it looks great. But um, at the end of the day, you know, cheaper rent's going to get you sort of a cheaper place, right? And then if we go over to Power Ranch here, we have sort of, we have two mega apartments which are right by Power Ranch. So the first one is going to be Skyview. So this would be great if like you don't want to live by all these stores and stuff, right? You want to have more of like, hey, I want to walk out and actually walk through a community. Look at all these walking trails we have in Power Ranch. It's great. I love living here. I live like right, where do I live? Right there. Boom. So all these walking trails are here. Uh, Skyview is going to be the better of the two. Price is starting at $14.58. Negative reviews seems to be a discrepancy between rent price and what people are paying. So nothing too bad other than that. Um, I don't think you're going to have the thickest soundproof walls here either. And then down here, we have San Clemente apartments. And I've heard about a lot of problems of these. And it actually keeps people from purchasing over here in the orchards sometimes. Um, but 1028 for a one bed, one bath, definitely a great price. Uh, you know, if you're a single man looking for just something cheap, this would probably be a good way to go. Um, negatives, police presence, filthy rooms. Many people living here seem to have trouble paying rent. I don't, so that was on the reviews. Um, and then also as far as what they have, they have a pool. They're close to the park and walking trails. I don't think you have access to the power ranch HOA stuff. So I'm not going to mention, um, the two community swimming pools, like take that out, but basketball court grills, covered parking, fitness center, gated access. I, I don't know about the, okay, I guess there's a fitness center there, but anyways, um, this would be probably like one of your cheaper options. It is gated. It is, you know, when you, when you get to the front, like all these places you'll notice it's really nice when you get there, you go to the front gate, but what ends up happening is that people move in and you're kind of like, uh, so really do your due diligence, make sure that you're chatting with people, getting their experiences. When you go on your tour, if there's anything I can do for you guys, let me know. Once again, don't forget to uh, join that Facebook group. And if you want this map, just comment map below or something like that. I will send the map over to you guys. And with that, if you want to take a tour of the Gilbert's or the Gilbert, the Tyler at Gilbert, watch this video right here. You guys will enjoy it as I walk through and uh, fumble my way through the Tyler.